So how choose a good design for distillation? Well, there are a few options. You can have a flash distillation, uh, and that's simply that you heat up uh, your feed at higher pressure, and then you reduce the pressure, and then a fraction of your feed turns into gas, and then you can get uh, a separation. It's not a very good separation, it's only one step. Uh, so only a ma at maximum one equilibrium stage, and you will understand later what an equilibrium stage is. But you can run it continuously, so uh, you can have for a certain feed with a certain composition, you get a liquid out and a gas out that has a constant composition over time. Another option is to have a batch set up. Uh, and you can either use it simply just to have like a pot on a stove. Uh, the thing that will happen then is that you start with a liquid with a certain uh, molar fraction of the volatile component, and then you bring it to boil and the first droplets will have, uh, if you condense the gas uh, that comes up, the first droplets will have one composition and then gradually that will change over time. So, and the, uh, one problem there is that the difference between the composition and the liquid that you can get, get out if you cool it and the, the composition you had to start with, that's not that big. It's only one equilibrium stage again, a maximumly, at maximum. Uh, but you can add something on top of that, a column. But you still have the problem that things will change over time, at least if you're not doing very tricky stuff with the column. Uh, so how do that continuously and how increase the difference between the distillate and what is at the bottom? Well, you can make a continuous distillation column and then you have a feed somewhere, for example, in the middle. And then you, on all places in the column, you have liquid falling down and gas going up and you heat below and you cool up there. In this way, you can, you can make many steps, take many steps towards a good uh, separation. So, the concentration in the distillate can be much, much higher than the composition in the bottoms. You can think of this the, the continuous distillation column as several pots standing on top of each other. So if you look at one place here in the column, there is a pot there uh, and there is gas coming from that, which will condense on the ne in the next pot. And, uh, and on that one, you have uh, boiling that takes vapor up to the next and so on. And from all these pots, there is a liquid going down. But it doesn't look like pots. It instead looks like, in the simplest case, it's just a sieve on each, uh, each tray, uh, each division here. And the sieve is there to, to make the liquid not fall so rapidly and to mix with the gas that comes up. So you can be a sieve tray, a valve tray, a bubble cap tray, or something like that. And in some cases, uh, it's not a sieve or a valve or something like that. It's just a column stuffed with things so that the, the flows have to meander through something. 